right, guys. Let's go ahead and read this question. Ready, go. Miss Moore banged brownies last night for her students. She put her students into groups of four. She gave each group three brownies to share equally. What fraction of the brownie will each student get? Mr. Allen, somebody from your room, can they tell me what the question is asking? What should I highlight? That is exactly what I would have highlighted as well. Awesome. So we want to know what fraction of the brownie will each student get. Now, this is kind of like your no sheet for today. So even though we highlighted it, I still want you to write it down right here where it says, what is the question asking? Because eventually, whenever you go over a question like this in a couple months, you might have forgot the process. So I want this to kind of be like a no sheet or a guide for you, okay? So we're going to put... Um, what fraction of a brownie will each student get? So again, this is kind of like your note sheet for today. So I'm going to ask you to copy it down and, and also highlight, okay? All right, the next thing that we need to figure out is what information is important. So, Mr. Murphy's class, somebody tell me one thing that you feel like is important um, that I would need to highlight or underline. All right, stay with you. Absolutely. So, the students are going to be in groups of four. Great job, Taylor. All right, somebody in my room. Go ahead, Michael. What else do we feel like is important, Ben? Mm -hmm. Yes, so she gave each group three brownies, and I love that he said to share equally, because again, we want to make sure we got that fair share. If Miss Moore brought in brownies, and I gave Shelby two, and I only gave Michael one, Michael would be really upset with me, right, Michael? <laughs> He'd be really upset with me, right? <laughs> so we want to make sure everybody gets an equal amount. So for the important information, we're going to put that students are in groups of four, We know there's three brownies, and we want everyone to have an equal share. All right, now, this is the next part that I want us to think about, okay? We know that we have three brownies total. We know that there's four students, and we know that everybody has to get an equal amount. So think about this. If we have three brownies and four students, Will a student be able to get less than a brownie or more than a whole brownie? So just think about that. And all I want you to do is write your answer down right here. Okay, so write less or more. Do you think that they're going to be able to get more than a whole brownie or less than a brownie? Think about this now. we got three brownies and there's four students. All right, in my class, just yell out what you think. Less. Okay, and here we're saying less. Mr. Murphy's class, everybody just yell out what you think. Okay, well, let's think about it now, Mr. Murphy's class. I have three brownies and four people. Are they going to get more or less than a brownie? Are they going to get more than a whole brownie or less than a brownie? Less. Okay, what about Mr. Allen's ring? What do you guys think? Awesome, you guys are all correct. If that makes sense, that's reasonable. If you told me more, I would say, whoa, wait a minute. Because I'm actually going to be sharing the brownies. And there's more people than there are brownies, so everybody's going to get less. So now that I'm thinking about that, what is going to be the operation that I use to figure this out? If I have three brownies and I want to share them with four people, what would I do? Division. Division, yes. We have the total. What's the total that I'm dividing? What is it that I'm dividing? The brownies. Do I want to divide these people up? No. So I already have the total, which means I am going to divide. So we are going to say that everybody's going to get less than one brownie. 
which means that our answer should be a fraction, right? If it's less than a brownie, it's going to be a fraction. All right, now here comes the fun part. We are going to draw a diagram to prove how this is actually true, okay? So we said, Mr. Murphy, Mr. Allen, can I go ahead and slide this up a little bit? Okay, awesome. So we said that we had three brownies and four people. We said that we're going to divide up the brownies, not the people. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw three brownies to start off with. And today, I really want you to make sure you're labeling because remember, this is like your note sheet. So I'm going to draw, and I'm going to make sure that it's kind of a rectangle because it's a lot easier to partition up rectangles than um, squares and circles, okay? And then I'm going to label each one of these brownie one, brownie two, and brownie three. So Taylor, help me out, sweetie. I've got three brownies. We said we were going to divide those brownies to how many people, sweetie? What do you think, Taylor, in Mr. Murphy's room? Yeah, absolutely. So we, we have three brownies. But we're dividing these brownies to how many people, Taylor? So how many people are we sharing these brownies with? One second. No problem. Take your time. She's not sure. She's thinking four, but she's not sure. Okay, well, well, Taylor, I think four is correct because it said that we divide into groups of four. So every group has four, right? So I'm going to just draw some little stick people. Now, if you don't like drawing stick people, you could just draw four heads, okay? But I'm going to go ahead, just because this is my note sheet, I'm going to make sure you guys know that these are people. So I have my four friends that are in my group. And I'm going to partition or divide up these brownies, okay? I'm going to give everybody a couple seconds in my class because they're still drawing. Give everybody a couple more seconds in the other classes and then we're going to start moving on. And guys, do not start drawing ears and eyes and noses on your people because we're not going to have time for that, okay? All right, so let's recap what we're doing here. We're saying that we have three brownies. We have four friends. We know that they're going to get less than a whole brownie because there's more people than brownies. So now we've got to figure out what we're going to divide each one of these brownies into or that fancy word that we say partition, which just means divide. So Mr. Allen's class, does anybody have an idea of what I would need to divide each one of these brownies into to make sure everybody gets an equal amount? Okay, what are we thinking in my room? What do you guys think? What do you think? Okay, so Shelby's saying four. Mr. Murphy's room, what do you guys think? Four. Okay, so since um, two classes are saying four, so let's try that, okay? And guess what? If it doesn't work, as a mathematician, I'll make corrections, okay? So if I divide each one of these into fours, I can't draw four lines because then that will create this. So when I'm thinking about dividing something up into fours, I'm actually going to draw three lines, okay? Now let me prove it to you. So I'm going to do one, two, three. See how that's fours now? I also want you guys to make sure that we're labeling these because that's super important since this is your name sheet. So this is one fourths here. This is one fourths, one fourths, and one fourths. And since that is one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth, this is a total of four fourths, which is one whole. So this is a whole brownie, okay? So I'm going to do that for each one of my brownies. I'm going to draw my three lines, and that creates my fourths. And then I'm just going to label these because I want to make sure I know what I'm doing when I look back at this paper in a couple months, okay? Give it a couple more seconds and then we're going to keep 
trucking along. You guys are doing great. So what I did is I took my three brownies, I partitioned them into fours, and now I can start giving some of these um, fractions of the brownie to my friends, and we're going to make sure there's none left over, okay? So this is what I would like for us to do. Instead of drawing all these arrows, that's your choice. If you prefer that way, that's fine. But I'm going to do it a little bit differently than I did the other day, okay? So you can either draw some arrows, or we can start crossing things out just to make it a little bit more clear on our paper, okay? So does everybody agree with me that person one is going to get one-fourth of a brownie? Okay, my kids in here are shaking their head. I'm going to just give that person a dot, and I'm going to cross out that one-fourth. I'm going to take this one fourth and give it to my second friend. And when I do that, I'm going to cross that out because I've already given that portion. Okay? This one fourth is going to go to my third friend. So I'm going to cross that out. And then my final piece of my first brownie is going to go to my fourth friend. So I'm going to cross that out. So what we've done is we've given everybody one fourth. So this dot doesn't represent one whole brownie, but it represents one fourth of this brownie. Okay? I'm going to do the exact same thing with my brownie number two. I'm going to put another dot because now this is going to be my second brownie. Okay? So then I'm going to cross out the one-fourth. So now everybody has two-fourths of a brownie, right? Remember, these dots represent one-fourth. So now, what would I do, Taylor? Help me out, sweetie. What am I going to do with this third brownie? Am I going to just leave it, or what should I do? Should I divide it up to my four friends or should I just leave it? What should I do, sweetie? Divide it up. Yes, I don't want to remember we said we don't want any leftovers. So good, Taylor. So I'm going to put another dot. That's going to represent another four for each one of my friends. So now let's look at my dots. Remember, these dots do not represent one whole, it represents one fourth. So how much is everybody receiving? Three fourths. Three fourths. Yeah, good job. So each person is going to be able to get three fourths of a brownie, which is less than one, which we said our answer needed to be less than a whole, right? So everybody's going to get three fourths, so that is going to be the answer that I need to write. Everybody's going to get three fourths of a brownie. I want to show you one more thing, and then I'm going to talk to you guys about the summary, okay? Remember, we said that we had three brownies to begin with, right? We said we were going to divide those brownies by four students. And we know that this fraction bar means what, Eric Rico? What does this fraction bar mean to do, bud? What does my fraction bar mean to do? Yes. So look at this. We literally said three brownies divided by four students. Everybody's going to get three-fourths of a brownie. It pretty much gives you the answer. I just had some kids in my room, like, their eyes just lit up, okay? Because it made sense now, right? All I had to do was divide three brownies divided by, because my fraction bar means to divide, divide by four students, and everybody gets three-fourths. Right? Why would I not want my answer to be four thirds? What did I do wrong if my answer was four thirds? What you think, Shelby? That would be more than one whole. It would be more than one whole, but what did I divide up? If I divided up four, if I divided up four divided by three, what was I dividing instead of the brownies? The students. The students. And do I want to do that? No. Okay. So, this makes sense. It's reasonable. It's less than the one. Everybody's going to get less than a one because we started out with less brownies than students. All right, so this is what I want your job to be today, and you need to turn this in before you go home today. You're going to write a summary to explain your thinking on the back of this paper, and you're going to make sure to include some vocabulary from our lesson today. So, this is what you need to write down because this is your expectations from today, okay? So you're going to write on the back your summary, but right down here I'm going to give you guys some guidelines, okay? 
It needs to be at least two sentences. Can it be more? Absolutely, but it has to be at least two. And these are some of the words. It says vocabulary, so these are some of the words that I want you to use. I want you to use less. You can think about the word less being that everybody had less than a whole brownie. Okay. I want you to use the word equally. We made sure to give everybody a fair share. Everybody had an equal amount. I want you to use that word fraction bar like Eric Rico now knows. And I want you to use the word partition, which is just a fancy word for divide. Okay. Is there anyone not sure what their expectation or their job is today? We've done all the hard work. Now what I want you to do is write a summary. And when you're writing a summary, all I'm asking you to do is to tell me what you did to solve. So if I said, Shelby, how did you solve this problem? You would take me step by step, right? But instead of you telling me um, with your mouth, I want you to tell me with your hands. So you're going to write what you did. You have a few minutes to get started this morning. And then the rest of it is due before you leave school today. Okay? The summary's worth 50 points, so you do not want to miss the summary. Is there anybody that's not sure what their task is to do today? Awesome. Mr. Murphy, Mr. Allen, do you guys have any questions in your class?